Dear staff, students, as we have been communicating about the new way of authenticating in regards to wireless, would like to show you how to connect. So via your laptop, you look out for this icon at the bottom right corner, and then you look for Mac Air. When you try to connect, it will bring up the option for username and password. Your username is your email address. And then you put your password for your email address. This is because it has been enabled with the Mac Air SSO, meaning you sign in once and then you click OK. Then it will ask to connect. And as you can see, I am connected. I'm connected via Mac Air. It's as simple as that. And your email and password are what you need to get this done. So we'd also like to show you how to integrate uh, your Mwele because that has already been enabled. The technical bit has been done. So you come to you come to your browser, open a new browser just like that, and then I'll type in Mwele Mwele dot mark sc.ug and as you can see this is the site before you are not seeing this option here the mark auth sso originally it was only this so to enable this search you don't have to keep uh logging in using your password and and, and username you come to mark auth sso you click that and then you type in your your email address and then you put in your webmail password when you do that you click login when you log in it brings up this option and this basically says you know you're in i'm in dix uh, my display name is that my given name is that and everything else it says the information above would be shared with the services if you proceed do you agree to release this information to the service every time you access it that means yes so you have to select an information release concept duration ask me again at next login i agree to send this ask me again if information to be provided to this service changes do not ask me again I agree that all information will be released to any of the service so you could choose either of the options i agree to all and then i click accept so as you can see i am now logged into my mwele account that is it it's as simple as that and then you will start having access. You don't need to remember your old uh, username and password. Just go through the steps we've shown you and you will be having access and you'll only need to log in using that one-time access. Thank you. And let us continue making ICT work as we build for the future.